Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CS Baba. In this session, we will discuss about group policy. Why do we require group policy? What is the purpose of group policy? Before starting the session, we should know about we should know about what is group policy. Group policy is a method to protect your infrastructure. Like if uh, you want to restrict. It's called restriction of the users, infrastructure restrictions. Like if you don't want to give the access to some of the specific folder, you can use uh, you can use group policy. If you don't want to uh, want it to give the access of network to the users, you can block from there. If you don't, if you wanted to apply apply wallpaper, you can use you can use group policy. So I will I will going to show it to you how can you apply the group policy. So let's start to go. Uh, let's start to begin the session of group policies, Windows Server group policies, which we are going to apply in Active Directory. So here we are using Windows Server 2022. This is my Windows Server 2022. I will first I will going to open Windows Server Manager. This is my this is my Windows Server. This is, I will going to open Server Manager Windows Server Manager, and here these are the my Windows Server Server Manager. So I will check here. Go to your Active Directory Users and uh, Computer. Click to as a uh, Users and Computer. This is my domain this is my local domain which i am going to apply the group policy using we can uh, use a uh, use group policy with the default user or you can create a ou and give the assign to the, according to the ou you can uh, assign the group policy suppose i will going to assign the group policy to this user so i will going to assign that this is my tech infrastructure users so I will going to assign the policies to only on this. So now I will going to create this is my created group policy created group. Sorry. This is my created group security group. I will show to you and and who is the member of the, this group. You can I will show to you go to the properties go to the group members. These are all the group members which are having the which are having the access of this which uh, the user is a uh, belong to the this OU organizational unit so according to the if I want I will, I will going to create a new uh, group go to new go to group click to group I will assign the tech GP group yes. take a security group security G okay tech security group okay uh, select group scope will be global and group type will be security just click okay so i have created a one group where now i will going to jump on again on server manager go to tools group uh, group policy management gpo gpm sorry group policy object this is my domain local domain so before starting this uh, I will explain to you if I will going to apply any group policy to the default domain it will be it will implement to the all OU including with all the OU all the users any group policy if I will going to add the group policies inside the inside the OU it will be impact only that OU okay so i'll going to show here if you can check this is my take okay i will going to create a one gpo click gpo click to gpo take just type take g p o s group policy security click to okay i have created one gps this so I don't want it to this OU user can access my control panel can access my network can access can't uh, install anything so according to this we can assign also the 
शेयर फोल्डर अकॉर्डिंग टू द ग्रुप तो क्लिक टू ग्रुप क्लिक टू एडिट वंस यू हैव एडिटेड देर इज ऑप्शन हेयर फॉर दिस कंप्यूटर कॉन्फ़िगरेशन पॉलिसीज एंड यूजर कॉन्फ़िगरेशन पॉलिसी आई विल गोइंग टू इंप्लीमेंट ऑन यूजर सो आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू आई एज यू कैन चेक हुएर आई हैव क्रिएटेड ए वन ग्रुप पॉलिसीज इन साइड माई टेक दिस टेक जी पी ओ सो आई विल गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट ऑन दिस सो आई हैव क्लिक टू एडिट दिस एंड गो टू योर ग्रुप पॉलिसी मैनेजमेंट एडिटर वंस यू हैव लैंडेड टू ग्रुप पॉलिसी मैनेजमेंट एट एडिटर यू कैन एक्सपेंड द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव टेम्पलेट पॉलिसीज वी एंड देर इज टू ऑप्शन कंप्यूटर कॉन्फ़िगरेशन यूजर कॉन्फ आई विल गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट ऑन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव टेम्पलेट ऑफ यूजर कॉन्फ़िगरेशन बिकॉज आई डॉट जस्ट डोंट वॉन्ट टू टू गिव दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्सेस टू द यूजर सो लाइक कंट्रोल पैनल नेटवर्क एक्सेस सो जस्ट एक्सपेंड द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव टेम्पलेट एंड सो हेयर देर इज लिक टू एक्सपेंड डेस्कटॉप दिस इज अ डेस्कटॉप सो हेयर डेस्कटॉप वाल पेपर If you want to to set a desktop wallpaper to the user, just right click, just click, click to edit. There is an option in enable. You can enable the it, and I will also show to you. Oh, can you enable? Public, and this is. I am having any folder. I'm just checking. I am having any files or folder. Just click to expand this. This is my folder. This is admin file. Here, this is the file here in admin. Windows. Click to admin. Admin. Here I will use this. Uh, this just expand. Just copy the URL. Wall. Copy the URL. Paste into your editor wallpaper name. So you are going to paste into this. so all this specific ou will uh, will receive this wallpaper once they are started their pc just click to apply first thing i have set the wallpaper to that ou ou users organizational unit users so here there is a or uh, there is again option active desktop enable active services prohibited to add anything on the desktop so if you want to enable you can enable this and if you want to a uh, user cannot add or delete anything from desktop you can also enable right click edit and enable this so once you have apply one uh, group policy you need to update this group policy some command run as administrator once you will and gp update space backslash sorry uh, forward slash course click enter once you have updated this policy this policy will be impacted that o user if you are have or having inside the o user and if you wanted to default all the user it will be implemented to, to the all the users so again i will going to block a uh, network configuration so here i will not going to uh, users can check the advanced configuration of my network so there is a option here tcp ip they are not able to access this thing you are right click this click to edit and click to enable and click to apply and click to okay 
this all the user is, is not able to change the TCP IP check the TCP IP advanced configuration okay now so now I will show again show to you the user cannot disable LAN even LAN user not user is not able to disable the LAN so just click edit this setting click to enable and click to apply and click to ok and if you don't want it, user will access your LAN setting. Just right click again, click to edit, click to enable, and click to apply, and click to open. Users are not able to uh, access the properties of LAN, net uh, local area network. And your users also cannot add new connection wizard. If you want, you can also enable this. And user, if you don't want it to, user can rename the LAN connection. You can also use to enable the services. There is also option one more option you can check. Here, uh, user are not able to, user are not able to rename the connection, remote access connection. User are not able to re rename the connection. So you can also prohibit it to that. All uh, and you can check here ability ability to use the delete all user remote access connection you can also disable this all the thing so one thing this part is the network is part is I will going to update this policy so GP update forward slash force force we are going in force why we are using force because I wanted to update the my guru policy certain if I no, if I wanted to apply any policy I wanted to apply no so that's the reason I want to use forcefully update this policy press to enter once the group policy will be update I will going to check on control panel this policy is updated okay now I will going to click on control panel. Here user is not able to list addition of any printer or deletion of any printer. You can use this. Enable the service. And you can also user are not user not able to turn off the default printer. You can use off this. Right click edit edit enable click to apply and apply this thing is happened so if you if you wanted to user cannot install anything in inside your infrastructure a particular user a particular organizational unit user not able to install anything just click on add and remove program hide new uh, hide add new page new program page just click right click edit and click to enable and apply this setting and click to ok user is not able to add add the new program page and if you don't want it to user can install add or remove any anything from your infrastructure organizational unit infrastructure complete add infrastructure you need to enable the service of remote add and remote pro remove program so just click right click edit this services and click to enable click to apply and click to ok if you also don't want it to user cannot add or remove any components page you can also use to do that right click edit this services and click to apply click to apply now if you will go uh, if you will jump on display if you wanted to disable the display of control panel you can you don't want it to show the display of control panel to the, all the users just read right click edit this services enable the services and I click to apply click to ok here is the option printer you already did personalization 
if you don't want it to enable the screen saver you can also enable the services screen saver if you will check on the regional program languages you can also enable the regional restrict language pack language failure installation feature installation you can also enable the services user call not able to install installation of user are not able to install any languages in extra language whatever the default language you have set it in admin or in infrastructure engineer has set set or uh, user are not able to add or in remove any services just click to apply and printer you already done we already hide so here the option hide install update page if you wanted to hide the install update page from the user infrastructure user interface you can you can do from you once you will need to click on administrative template control panel then program you can you can do like that so i don't i just wanted i don't want the user can check this install updates page is going on just right click and click to edit and enable the services and click to apply click to apply and if you want don't wanted to hide the control panel hide the control panel don't want to show to the control panel to the users you can also hide the control panel from the user read it enable enable the services and click to apply now these all the services which i have enable i i need to update this service because i have just enable the services which is group policy users policy which i have applied so i will going to update this policies also so just click gp just type gp update forward slash force and click to apply and now i will going to check the user is added on this group or no why i have created this group i will also show to why did i have created this group here so now i will going to check this services so now i have did this now i will going to add the one more thing that is important every in every infrastructure engineer every it admin every system engineer and every system administrator should know about if you are working on windows based you need to know about this just click to preference click to windows setting here drive map if you have shared this is the shared for a uh, drive which is uh, if any user inside the ou you wanted to default once they have login they will get this drive default on their drive so you can use like that windows you need to go to the windows setting first user configuration preference then windows setting then drive map right click on drive map maps right click on drive maps click to new click to map drive which drive do you want it to enable i will going to create a new drive i am not going to replace update if we are updating any policy we can use replace update or delete i am going to create so this is just click on this which drive do you want to do? public or technical so i am having this i will use the location public this location i will default use like central backslash public okay i will ch check i will assign any name label as we can assign any name whatever you want like here take public okay and now i will going to assign here what for which drive they will check i will going to assign with p public okay so here i have checked this no no next thing why did i have created this group so here this will be impact 
tech gs i will imply i will um, imply this tech gs with group map that's why i have created here i will show that is not displaying again if i will click it will come it will pop up okay here will be pop up just click on common once you have common there is a options common all item i will going to click on run log on user security and add uh, item level targeting i am going to click on item level targeting just click on targeting once you will click on targeting here will be option targeting agent you click to new items here security group this will be imply will be here this will be apply over here just click on security group select the security group what the security group did you have selected you otherwise you can if you remember you can or otherwise you can click on advanced click to find which policy did you apply you can check from here tech gs which i have i have created a tech gs so i am going to click on tech gs click to okay click to okay and click to apply and click to apply and click to okay this drive will be will be attach all the ou infrastructure all the ou users on your infrastructure so again i need to update the group policy gp update force force click to enter now i will going to login and first i need to add the user inside the property go to properties click to member add the member here i will asd asd check okay how many member i don't want to add here again i will going to check 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 is there and here okay i'm going to add rick 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 then my name sure okay and this both i am selected again i'm going to select map uh, okay this all user i have selected click to ok and click to apply and click to okay. just try to update the policy again just click up arrow click to force update this thing i have done so now i will going to check the user login to the user this is my exi so I will virtualization I am using virtualization so I will show to you from here Root. which user I am going to log in from the same user let's try to check I will going to use from a or check or any I will going to log in from check user this is my virtual machine and click to action click to guest click to send key keys click to all and now the check user is already here now i will going to what is the password for this so let's try incorrect incorrect password password might be i forget this password this user password switch user or otherwise i will change the user password here go to here right click this check password right click reset password assign the any password click to ok once you have changed the password minimize the screen not try So this is the screen 
of your check user now I will going to open first I will check map drive is the drive I am getting which I have map sorry here here I am here which drive I am having I'm, I'm, I'm having the drive so you can check here I am getting the IT public drive so my group policy is implemented over here so again I need to check on control panel can be open or no check though I cannot open control panel restricted I am the user this OU user cannot open control panel I will now I will going to check network let's try to open network so I am not able to open networks so it's ok click to ok ok just minimize so next thing I will so log into your uh, group policy start your group policy management so these all the group policy which I have created I don't want it to so if I don't want it to any group policy will be impact to this OU so on this scenario just expand your OU right click on your, your or, uh, right click on your OU here this is the option of block inheritance once you will click on block inheritance this this all the default group policy will be not affect on your this OU this OU core policy will be separate from the other OU and default organization default your default your domain this all domain deals all local domain policy will will not, will not affect on this so this that's why we are using that's why we are using block inheritance no other thing this is the important thing this option here WMI filters this is why we are using WMI filter if suppose we are having windows multiple uh, operating sy system multiple version of operating operating system like windows 10 windows 8 windows 7 and windows 11 I, I wanted to apply uh, just like that if I wanted to apply uh, apply the group policy on to, on that particular OS operating system we can use WMI filter. why we are using WMI filter because when WMI filter stands for Windows Management Instrument so I will check here which policy which operating system I wanted to apply and if other other group policy will 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 not affect to this so here I will going to click on WMI filter click to new and you can assign here here W I will apply apply the for this windows 10 W I min 10 windows 10 windows 10 OS once you will click on windows 10 OS you need to uh, once you will type and click to add this is the namespace and here you need to write the query query ID, a query I already have, uh, write it here this is the select query which we are going to use if you want you can also browse uh, query from WMI windows 10 win 10 you can use you can use here now windows management instrument here you can use here or any query from win default you can also use from windows operating system here if you wanted to apply on windows 10 if you wanted to apply on windows 11 if you wanted to apply on windows 10 if you wanted to apply C1 according to that you can apply the group policies so here I already copied just paste your query click to OK and click to save here this this group policy 
will be affect only the this windows 10 operating system so means these all the group policy will be impact only windows 10 so other operating system will not affect on the any group policies which i have created so might be the or you already got the all the point of group policies guys if you are having any kinds of dots in group policies okay, kindly ping me or kindly email me kindly comment on my blog guys thanks for watching have a nice day